hola, mi nombre es Ubaldo Reyes, bienvenidos a mi canal Radiofísica con Baldo. Este es el octavo video en donde les quiero mostrar cómo elaboro verificaciones mecánicas de los desplazamientos de la mesa de tratamiento del equipo de tomoterapia. Como ya hemos comentado antes, en este tipo de aceleradores siempre se realiza un registro de imágenes antes de disparar las sesiones de tratamiento a nuestros pacientes para garantizar paciente correcto en el lugar correcto. Para mayores detalles, vean el video número 3 de este canal. Aquí abajo, en la descripción, les dejamos el link. La pregunta que surge ahora es, ¿cómo sabemos si realmente la mesa de tratamiento se está desplazando las cantidades que nosotros le hemos indicado desde la estación de control cuando hacemos el registro de imágenes? Bueno, pues justo por esta razón es que yo elaboro este tipo de verificaciones para garantizar que realmente la mesa de tratamiento se está desplazando las cantidades que yo le he indicado desde el registro de imágenes. Sin más preámbulo, comenzamos. Introduction. We will begin this video describing the general coach characteristics to identify the differences between the conventional linear accelerator and tomotherapy's coach. There are two characteristics that are completely different to the conventional accelerator's coach. The first one is that the tomotherapy's coach doesn't have any rotation, therefore only has three degrees of freedom, X, Y, and Z. The other difference is that this coach, when delivering treatments, it is moving with a constant velocity. As opposed to conventional accelerators, the treatment coaches are fixed when the treatments are delivered. There are different tests that have to be taken upon to ensure that the coach is functioning in a proper manner. These tests are, first, we verify coach movement accuracy. Then make sure it is not rotated to any direction within X or Y. And also make sure it doesn't have a coronal shift nor a sagittal shift. These are the common and routine tests we make to any coach and therefore they are not the objective of this video. Now referring specifically to tomotherapy, we know before initiating or delivering any treatment, we do an image registration where basically the position X, Y, and Z is correctly placed on the coach. Given that the process is done automatically, how do we guarantee the coach displaces the amounts we indicated to displace when an image registration is done? It is right here that this mechanical verification of the displacements of the coach comes in. Now that our problem is stated, let's begin with the main topic of our video. Materials and methods. We use something we call the Tomo cube, which we have designed, which is basically a cube which has each side has a graded flat, which will help us as a reference to know in what position the clinical laser or the red laser are moving, and at the same time verify that the coach is moving correctly. Later, we will see what we're talking about. To begin this process, the first thing we do is download a treatment plan to make this type of test. I usually have the plan to make verifications on unit, unit's house field, which is approved treatment plan. Once it has been downloaded, I go inside to the bunker and align the Tomo cube. So the initial objective is set the clinical laser, which is the red laser, on the Tomo cube center, where we can visualize one side, but the laser has to be also aligned in all other sides. Once we have set the laser in its proper position, we let the system know that we are ready to obtain the MVCT images. So we press main, ready, and yes. 
What's next is to obtain the MVCT images. Once we have the MVCT, we make sure everything is in order and then indicate the displacements that have to be made. In this example, we have to indicate it to displace on X 5 millimeters, on Y 10 millimeters, and on Z 10 millimeters also. We accept the displacements and we head to the treatment plan. We program it in such a way the system will fire the treatment session with the previously approved alignments. We will execute the session, then the system will set the clinical laser on the position we've indicated. On the images, we can see how the red laser has disappeared and reappears on the new position. We zoom in the images to verify it moved towards the indicated position on this example. We can, all, we can only see one side of the Tomo cube. However, we will show how the red laser is moving on the indicated positions, but not only that. We are also verifying that it's moving correctly. In this case, we can perfectly see how the clinical laser moved and 10 millimeters on Z's direction. Now we indicate the coach to reach that position. We head to the control panel and accept the displacements and we can perfectly see how the red laser is now on the Toma cube center. However, the green laser or the virtual ISO center now seem to be displaced from the Toma cube center. This is how I verify two things. Firstly, the clinical laser is working perfectly because it is displaced on the indicated positions. And secondly, the coach only reaches the position that has been accepted on the image registration. After doing the image registration, the treatment session is delivered to the patient, but this time we will not do it. It is not necessary. What we'll do is show another example. We won't explain from the beginning because it's the same process. We upload the plan. We align the Toma cube with the red laser. Let's go to the image registration tab. And what we do here is put the following displacements. Five millimeters on X's direction, 15 millimeters on Y and Z's direction. Once these displacements have been accepted, we head to the treatment tab and indicate the system to prepare for the adjustments. Then we head inside the bunker and verify the clinical laser, which is the red lasers. Has been moved the indicated position to X five millimeters, Y 15 millimeters, Z 15 millimeters. We make a zoom and we can see that the red laser is moved in the axis Y, Z 15 millimeters in each axis and see that on the axis X, it moved five millimeters. Here we can see how the green laser is on the center. What we are saying is that the Toma cube is centered on the virtual ISO center of the system and the clinical laser has already moved to the new reference point to be able to deliver the treatment. Now we head to the control panel and indicate to the coach to make those adjustments. Take a look. Now the clinical laser is on the center of the Toma cube and we can see axis YZ and axis YX perfectly aligned. So with this test, we know that the clinical laser is displaced correctly and that the coach performs the displacements indicated. Final comments. Este tipo de verificaciones religiosamente las elaboro por lo menos una vez por mes o cuando los ingenieros de servicio dan algún tipo de mantenimiento al equipo de tomoterapia para garantizar que la mesa de tratamiento sí se está desplazando de manera correcta. Al final todo el conjunto de verificaciones dosimétricas y mecánicas que elaboramos en los aceleradores lineales de uso médico permiten ofrecer una mayor calidad en los tratamientos que estamos dando a nuestros pacientes y de esta forma tener un mayor control clínico de la enfermedad. Espero este video sea de utilidad, denle like, suscríbanse a nuestro canal y nos vemos en el siguiente video. Muchas gracias.